From unseasonably warm temperatures in the north to devastating so uh, storms in the south, it has been a strange and deadly winter all around the globe, and there is no denying it. Something is going on with the weather, but here's the hitch. There is no clear answer to what that something is. Now, I personally believe in global climate change, not disputing even that pollution and giant escalades like mine certainly aren't helping, but are they causing this? The notion of man's complete responsibility for global warming has wrongly been ad adopted as universal truth here in our country. Remember, you know, just because Al Gore made a documentary doesn't mean that all the information he presented were irrefutable facts. Where were the SUVs when the dinosaurs were burned? Uh, you know, it's just like two doctors having a differing opinion on how to handle treatment of a disease. There are numerous alternative views on why the Earth's climate is what it is. Now, the thing that I've noticed, and I don't know if you've noticed this too, you know the people who are always scolding, you know, people, hey, you've got to embrace diversity. They're often the least receptive to diverse points of view on global warming. And you'd think if there's one place that would enter entertain all of the theories on the weather, it would be the frickin' weather channel. Yeah, you'd think that, but you'd be wrong. James Spann is a meteorologist with the highest level of certification from the American Meteor Meteorological Society. His credentials are impeccable until the Weather Channel decided they wanted to take away his AMS certification because he didn't believe that global warming is man-made and not a natural process. What happened? How did that, I, I, why is it, James, that you don't believe that this is a uh, man-made process? Well, Glenn, the Earth's climate has changed since the day God put it here. We have had these cyclical changes, and I believe that most of this is purely natural. Quite frankly, to those of us in the operational community, and we're, we're talking meteorologists that look at computer models and data and assimilate a public forecast, we don't see much difference in the global warming in the last 10 to 15 years compared to the global warming we had from about 1910 to about 1945. The 1930s were extremely warm across the globe. And I just don't see a lot of difference in that. And to us, the CO2 emissions, and let me say this, I think we should reduce them for better air quality. We're going to run out of fossil fuels. We have many issues, and I'm all in agreement that we should reduce that. But the, the idea that this is producing catastrophic man-made global warming just doesn't make a lot of sense. It's a pop gun compared to atomic bomb issues like volcanic dust in the stratosphere, the position of the sun, the temperature of the sun, the structure of of the Earth's magnetic poles and ocean currents. That's what makes the big changes. Okay. So James. in our opinion, a large part of this is, man is not man-made, it's natural. James, I mean, I'm sure that all yes. makes sense and you don't look like a kook, but you've got to have somebody chained in your basement because you're clearly a <laughs> kook because you have to be if you come out and say these things. It's amazing to me that I feel as though we're almost li living in McCarthy times when it comes to global warming. They are doing everything they can to shut people like you down. Why? Yeah, there's really, there's really two issues, Glenn. We've got the global warming issue. Is it man-made? Is it natural? There needs to be a healthy debate. And what prompted a lot of this was the comment from the uh, anchor at the Weather Channel. And uh, she apparently wrote in her blog, in fact, I read her blog, that if you don't agree with her, then if you are certified by the AMS, then you should not be certified. And understand that that's something that you can't drive through and, and get that. That involves academic standards, that involves uh, your on-air work, your content, your style, and a rigorous examination. You work hard for that. And she's saying, if you don't agree with me, your certification needs to go away. And to me, that's very troubling. I think in science, you need a free marketplace of ideas, a good exchange. I love to read papers from those that are on the man-made catastrophic global warming bandwagon. That's the only way I can educate myself. But for them to try and silence this side, that is very disturbing. She came out with a, um, a statement uh, recently where she, she pretty much basically said, you know what? I, I, uh, uh, we we want to, here at the Weather Channel, we want to have a discussion. And, and anybody, we will discuss it with anyone. But you must understand that we're moving this forward. So in other words, she was pretty much saying, we'll have a discussion with anyone, but you must first understand that global warming is caused by man, and we'll move from there. Wasn't she? Uh, it, to me, that's what it sounds like, Glenn, and quite frankly, I'm hoping that maybe one day soon, uh, she, 
can come on this show and we can have all a healthy debate about that. I would love to speak with her about that. Uh, she has been unavailable. Uh, we do a local podcast here called Weather Brains. We've tried to get her on that, but apparently she's out at Sundance involved in a big uh, oh. film that is promoting the concept of uh, what this catastrophic man-made global warming. And uh, we find that to be interesting, but she's been unavailable for comments. So hopefully she'll be back from that here soon. It's amazing how many people are unavailable to talk to people like you, people like me. They just will not make themselves available to have a civilized debate on these things. James, thank you very much. Coming up, the Golden, uh, Golden Globe uh, Award winning